What's up everybody? Today I have a classic unboxing because this thing is worthy. It's like unboxing when you're a kid in a candy store or on Christmas morning, right? What I the have. grasshopper fits every requirement for the ideal buggy. Speed, performance, good looks and easy maintenance. The heavy duty competition differential allows the tight cornering required without any loss of traction. And here are some of the optional parts available for tuning up the grasshopper when desired. Right. What I have is the Tamiya grasshopper, my very first RC. So it tugs at the heart a little bit. And something really cool is I posted a photo of me opening the package uh, in my Facebook and 15 of my friends, not RCers, just civilians said, hey, I had that RC, that was my first RC. So it, it was, it kind of shocked me and I said, man, I gotta do a proper unboxing video of this. So this was my first RC back in the day. I think I was still 17, 18, long time ago, maybe 40 years ago. So it is about 130 bucks at A-Main and everywhere. But at, uh, at A-Main right now, this green edition, which I think is cooler, is only like 93 bucks. So I'm not sure what's up, if there's any missing parts or whatnot, but we'll discover. Uh, and if you know what the difference is, Tell me in the comments because 93 bucks is pretty darn amazing. So let's get on with it. We're the unboxing. Uh, first, you gotta see the box. I mean, they don't make boxes like this anymore. And I really feel that this is one of the things that made Tamiya so successful is their box art. It's so iconic. I don't know if it's one guy out there back in the 70s, 80s that was doing this, but every picture would make you lust over the little RC. You know, it wasn't like a photograph, just an illustration, but it was so awesome. Every single one, you know, sometimes they have driver or sometimes you see it in action, usually some, some motion. So I remember lusting over this. I don't know how I got a hold of one. You know, tell me your story. What was your first RC? Uh, was it Tamiya? And how did, you get, how, did you, how did you negotiate it with your parents? Or how did you earn the money for it? So there's the box. And then, I don't know, I don't know if it was like this back in the day, but this is like legit classic unboxing. So we'll put it here. Why not, huh? It's the body, the iconic body is, it's heavy. So it's not, it's, it's hard body. Imagine that, no Lexan. And this is the, the, the green edition. I love the green. It's kind of a light green. But this thing is not gonna crack or break. My buddy said, oh, I got one. I worked so hard for it and then I ran it and then a car ran over it. And I'm like, oh, dude, dude. So I'm gonna give this to him as soon as I'm done. I think it broke his heart and broke his RC dreams. He could have been an RCer. Oh, so this is interesting. So one of the worst parts of these RCs before was the ESC. The ESC was mechanical, right? It had three set of resistors uh, and it had three points of contact, low, medium, high. Uh, so he, they couldn't bear shipping that with this. It's so ice age. So they're giving a hobby wing, hobby wing 10 something, not 1080, no way, maybe 1060. And then, oh, in classic form, we have a, a driver, huh? We don't get drivers anymore. So I think, Tamiya was so successful back then. Uh, they just knew the touch points. Uh, and, and the sad part is it cost them not to change. You know, they, they kind of got stuck into their successful ways. They're probably just printing money out there and said, yeah. So look at those wheels. They're kind of beadlocks. Are they beadlocks? Uh huh. You know, I have not opened a Tamiya car in so long, like from their childhood. So this is kind of cool. You know, where were we then and where are we now? Uh, please help me in the comments and, and see what, what changed. What, what did we carry over? What did we learn? And um, how much better is it now? So I'll do a stock running video of this for sure, but maybe I'll modify a few things. Oh, this is the chassis. So it's a tub chassis plastic by the way if i remember correctly there was the the grasshopper the frog and the hornet uh and then there was some other four-wheel drive i forgot what it's called 
And they're all on A main, believe it or not. Uh, this is their transmission. Uh, I hope that's not the gears. <laughs> I'm not seeing any metal. Okay, okay. Uh, we got some servo saver. So this is a kit. It doesn't have a servo, it doesn't have a radio. Hopefully it has the motor, so I need my battery. Okay, here we go. This is, uh, I'm very curious about this. This is the, the rubber, where, where the rubber meets the road, so to speak, right? So, oh, that did not help. And you know what I do with rubber? Sniff test. It's real rubber. Sand paddles too. Pretty cool, and look at that, directional. So I got the grasshopper like many of you guys did, because I think the frog was significantly more expensive. That one had like cantilever suspension or, or a lay down shocks and some, some real oil filled shocks. Oh, real rubber. Okay, I think that's it. Manual, the manual. Look at this, it's so cool. Another unboxing, two unboxings in one. I'm gonna look for the original Tamiya commercial too. Maybe kind of segue into uh, splice that in. Oh, look at the bumper. Oh, this bumper is not gonna break. You have to do something special to break this bumper. Uh huh. So these are gears, plastic gears, and we have some plastic model grease. So the springs, if I recall, are not not damped. Okay, and then we got a lot of RC parts, bag, pins, I believe. And, oh, pretty heavy bag. Oh, do the motor last. So we have our screws. Are they Phillips? Phillips, unfortunately, what are you gonna do? Some hardware, machine screws. Okay, more screws. Aha, here's the weak point. Plastic gears. I wonder if they have metal gears for this. Let me know in the comments, please. I'm no, I know some of you guys have been through this journey of, of childhood revival, okay? And this, maybe I won't assemble it. Um, this is uh, all bushings. So this vehicle has all bushings for $93. But I, I found a, a kit, Fast Eddie bearings, I believe, for only like 13 bucks. So I said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Little upgrade already. It's tape, man. And let me know in the comments if these are packaged the same way as they were 30, 40 years ago. Okay, so I was gonna upgrade this motor, but it's a different size. I don't have any of this motor. What is this? That's a, this is the probably the Mabuchi 380 motor with a pressed in pinion. Okay, maybe we 3S this thing. <laughs> I don't have any upgrades for this. Darn it, I have like 100 540 motors. So there you go. Oh my God, so stoked. Uh-huh, it's there already. Boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Can you see it? So uh, the next video you'll see will be a running video. Uh, very cool. Oh, and I got a little teaser content. Uh, I'm getting my, my Betty. Uh, the problem with these shock cars is undamped, right? But I got these shocks and check this out. They are from Proline. I wasn't sure if they would fit my FMS or whatnot, but they are precision machines, damped shocks, plug and play for the SEX24. So I'll do a test on these, see how they perform. All right, thanks a ton guys. Oh, by the way, uh, this evening I'm going to pick the, the winner of the May contest, the uh, Michigan. Um, I'm, I'm going to pick one winner and then a couple backups in case the, the winner doesn't uh, respond right away. But uh, thank you for your support, my friends.